Welcome back everyone to this Commonwealth of Man playthrough. I'm Daily Fix and today we are going to be starting off with something. There has been uh, a question in uh, in the comment section. Um, I have to look up really fast on who it was, but uh, the question is, um, could I explain the planetary uh, features? And... Um, it was a Raphael dating. I hope I didn't butcher your name. So please talk about the planet management and population, jobs, population growth, species, and etc. I'm going to do my utmost best. So in version 2.2, we were introduced with this new window. We stepped away from planets that just had tiles and we got this amazing feature in it. So the planet name, uh, the empire, what the empire has, it, it's sort of a guiding. Um, it, it kind of focuses on what do you have on your planet. And, and that gives you a certain name, that is why um, this is a generator world, even though we haven't collected it, because we have more tiles in generating. So um, you can also see there are benefits. Technician output plus 20% generator district building speed plus 25% there's definitely a plus in going with um, these kind of things it's a continental world and you can see the planet size uh, we have a governor who is Penny Kirby and this is what he does or actually C does he's level 2 and we have a, a scientist in orbit assisting the research and so that's all that we can bring out of this one. We have the stability. Now, if you... Stellaris and, and actually most of the Paradox games are so in-depth about all of the information they're giving you. And it's just explaining to you why this number is that. So you can see there's resources from jobs that will put in a 6 point per, uh, 60. We've got trade value, we've got immigration pool. It is also about happiness and all of that stuff. So the happier your people, as well as your amenities, your housing, all of this below does affect your stability, your population count and decisions. Now, decisions are amazing. Uh, there's a few cool options. Stay, um, say you take a hostile planet. And the stability is really low. And it's not because of amenities, it's because you are a conquering species. You took over their planet, they are not happy with that. Um, you, what you can do is you can declare martial law. It will reduce population growth, but it will gain you stability. And stability is really important because if the stability is too low, the planet will revolt. And that's annoying. That really is annoying. And there's uh, tons of options in here, population growth. Uh, and these are due to the um, the story pack DLC. I haven't been looking into it as much. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll not give you my verdict on that one. Resettlement. If you have a planet that is saying like this unemployed human, you could say, hey, we're going to be um, finding this guy. And you can see here, this worker is unemployed. And we're going to be transferring it to... So uh, this planet here, there's three jobs. It has 60% uh, inhabitability for this species, for, for the humans. So it's actually not too bad. It's actually been growing a lot. I do, do like that. So yeah, let's go back. Crime. Your population will generate crime. As does my phone, it generates noises. If the, uh, the, the sound isn't off, let's uh, turn that one off right now. Um, and you can see a breakdown of it. So it, it's like, um, you have to see it. From population, it is 50. And you have, uh, from your government skill, is, uh, is negative 6. And, and that will bring it up to 44, something like that. I, I don't think this is completely right. From population jobs, it's probably in here. We have enforcers that will produce unity. So going to our enforcers... You can say crime is negative 25. That's how I should say it. Crime is negative 25. That's why it's 50. Government, uh, governor skill is because of uh, this person here. You can see that in the bottom. 
it says crime negative six and all this counts into your crime your housing amenities let's say it's your entertainment for the people if there's too little entertainment everyone is going to be bored out of their mind we don't want that unemployment and available jobs so you have your districts over here you can see that we, we have two districts and you have these two that are red reddish like these are still to be unblocked or actually unlocked due to um look at, at this so that will bring it up even even further so we'll, we'll get even more if we'll uh, we'll do this we might as well just go ahead and just do that whatever housing energy mining food and there is a lot of options if you have a a planet or a city world or genopum with something that i cannot pronounce it, it actually creates something so hover over all of these things to see what it does and, and some have some amazing features i believe like where's my mm, this one i believe it is a relic world um, actually it doesn't have the options that is a bit of a shame well maybe in the future I can show you that so clicking this one you'll get to your uh, planetary features you can also unlock your tiles terraforming we cannot do just yet once we are able to we're going to be in there your trade value what your planet does produce and what your planet is taking away from your stock it doesn't mean that your planet has to generate this amount now it just takes it from the stock over here no worries about that we got your buildings and uh, these you build yourself of course and uh, your queue in here you'll have your your sector as well as because this is the capital plant i can't click this button but if i go here uh, we can actually select some of the options and if you just hover over it you immediately see a drop down menu saying you know this will provide you with city uh, district building cost if you are really like min maxing you could probably switch every time you're going to be building some of these districts just to spend a tiny bit less on everything so just hover over them and uh yeah we'll see what it will do we might even have to pop in this one just to get more uh, consumer goods. 20% more of these two. So, yeah, that, that's actually it's not bad. Really not bad. So all of these, are def uh, once you're unable to build anything else and you would go into Fortress World, then um, it will defend your planet from orbital bombardments, which is really, really nice. I usually don't tinker with this too much unless I'm having 25 planets or so. 10 planets, it, this is easily, easily something you can manage. Uh, it's getting really rough when you hit like, yeah, def definitely like 15 to 100. 100 planets is, is something that you could call insane. Population, your jobs, ruler jobs and what it does. Your administrative building, so this is out of this building, planetary administration. Uh, your specialities and these are usually the buildings that you place in this area all of these are your special buildings uh, so you need specialists to get those hovering over all of these and you'll see what it all does for you uh, modifiers is crime negative 25 amenities plus 10 and population growth speed 10 and that has to do with the gene clinic um, workers are just just workers it are the guys that are working in your districts um, going for population growth speed wow that is something oh population growth speed has a lot of factors as you can see it usually is do you uh, do you have the um, uh, do you are, are you a fast breeder and it will add uh, this percentage i believe it's like 25 percent do you have um, edicts running like this one population growth speed do you have policies um, going into where are you food policies um, like this one a uh, population growth speed plus 10 percent everything will add up if you are playing a species that is a slow breeder you will know that early on in the game your population growth speed is absolutely slow 
I think one of the best traits for your empires is population, growth speed. It, it is, it's just amazing, but you can see uh, Xenophobe does add growth speed. Um, you have the gene uh, genome mapping, uh, growth speed, cloning, healthcare campaign, new life, from population jobs, that is your gene clinics, nomadic. Uh, so all of that is just taking it into effect. Also, habitability is very important, as you can see over here. Population growth speed, negative 20. So if you go to low, uh, you can actually just notice it immediately because the building time is just going to be so incredibly high and it will just grow so slow assembling everything to do with robots once you are able if you're a machine empire or you unlocked the robots from technology you can actually build them over here robots um, they will get into your species tab and it's the same as going into species, like when you're creating a new template, it's the same for robots. As soon as we get into geno, uh, gene, gene tailoring, that's the one, um, we definitely are going to be exploring some of these species, perhaps uh, making sure that these residences will have um, a lot less negative. And we have six points remaining. We can take a lot out of this one, maybe make them fast growers, who knows? It could be absolutely fantastic. There you go. Population growth speed negative 10. And with our humans. Um, here you go. Uh, population growth from immigration plus 15%. So everything will just add up in there. Let's go back to our planet. Um, declining is when you are purging or whatever. And we, we are doing that maybe somewhere. Let's see. I don't know. I think we've done purging. There's no more hive mines in our uh, areas. Uh, this is the approval rating. So it's all about happiness. Happiness, happiness, happiness. Yay! The happier the people, the better they will perform um, their jobs. This also means that there are species, and you can see that, that are less happy. Things just happen. Things just happen. And this planet is consisted of humans. If we go here, you can see their record. And there is the UV Xanti or whatever. Uh, armies are armies. They will defend your planet. And they will be the ones going into space and attacking planets. If you just choose to build them. Hovering over armies will show you the different stats. You can see these guys are actually weaker than uh, the others. But we also have... Where are you? These guys... That have a a damage of eight of four point eight, a max damage as a well as a morale damage. Now the morale system is not really in the game yet, at least not to my knowledge. They do damage and sometimes troops will retreat when they're just taking too much damage. It's the same with ships. Maybe eventually they'll get to a point where ships actually will. Um, Abandon, you know, like mutiny, just, just like, oh, forget it, I'm not going to die over here. Not happening. Um, cooperative uh, is when you have the um, the Mega Corp DLC. And this will allow you to build branch offices, uh, but you will need to be a corporate of that. So that's just all about uh, planets for now. Hopefully it was um, enough for you. If not, then uh, do let me know. Let's continue because we, well, we've been talking a long ass time. So, these guys are still in war with them. And... and uh, we're superior. We're, we're getting to a point where we are actually superior. Um, and where we actually... They're no longer overwhelming. Which is amazing. Which is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy about that. Um, let's get health capacity overload back due to uh, energy uh, let's speed up as well what are we doing over here Ooh, that is a big upgrade I think we need to do it also we are going to be focusing on getting a second fleet I want a second fleet this um, this will definitely bring me way closer to them and they will be less frightening for us because they are still so, so strong. Uh, that is also why we want to be uh, hoarding a lot of our minerals, a lot of our goods 
and just trading them for alloys when the the prices are ripe look at these prices those are insane and it just goes up and down you can see that the uh, the empires are also buying alloys so oh man look at that 20 bloody k for for 1200 alloys which is is insane it really is insane we got a racket here who is unemployed what can we do with you so we have minerals we could actually use consumer goods so let's go and build that up and i want to be trying to get to a hundred alloys uh let's uh, continue that so why a hundred alloys because it's just a nice number it really is it also is so good to reinforce your fleets when you're actually just just spitting out alloys so these guys are going back they are going to be upgrading to the latest design and i don't see anything else remaining in there no okay so you're not doing anything and you have an unemployed worker and that is a zanfir so that is a one of our slave peoples um let's make sure that he gets to work eventually i want to let go and have the ai manage my planets oh that's great finally finally amazing we need to make sure that we keep it going we all of these planets are now open for us to colonize and we should definitely do that so let's colonize with the uh, the racket we we might improve them it's not the best it, it will definitely be a slow planet but still any planet that will generate goods for us is um is a winner in my book let's wait a tiny bit more because well, like i said i want to be focusing most of my efforts on uh, on our star bases on fleets let's go and build those is there anything i would like to do in here um no not really how about you um let's go anchoring you are a bastion i would really like to upgrade you we don't want to go overboard because our fleet is not there yet we need how much 816 so let's try not to go over over that there you go anchoring that one's not new you're not new you're not new. i think that it should almost be it um we want to have a station in there and we want to have a station in this systems due to the gateways excellent just continue just take your time buddy you don't need to be as fast so there's a human here without a job oh my poor 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 fella um hmm. so we could get two more districts over here unfortunately that is not going to help us right now what do we want i kind of feel that we should focus a bit more on research because we're falling very much behind uh, it's it's usually not good when that happens how is this going so energy this is a generator planet so let's build that perhaps we can actually look into let's see do we have that building not yet actually yes we do here we go energy grid this is absolutely fantastic for planets like this so let's make that immediately what it will do it will just boost your energy production on your planet by 15 percent that that's just that's just gold that's just gold peace offering one of my dogs is actually going insane below so i'll definitely have to check it in between episodes luckily it's still a minute um you are a one of my slaves so build food anything else so we got a lot of stuff going on here you are finally upgrading and you can see that by the amount of alloys that we're having and i kind of feel that we want to be starting the new fleet as, as soon as possible as soon as possible because i kind of feel that um the longer this will take um the stronger these guys are going to be and i need them to be just superior what i can do is as we can bunker up in this system 
and just wave after wave we were able to deal with these guys i might even consider changing this sect uh, system uh into a anchoring and building a um a shipyard over here we don't care about all that so he's starting to claim oh my he is uh, claiming on, on me now. <laughs> oh man, that means that he is preparing himself. Oh, that is just horrible. That... Uh-oh. What's going on? Hey! There's a war incoming. That actually is not too bad. With a lot of ideological sites discovering, as you can see over here, we, we can now see everything because they are of course our ally but we're fighting these guys i kind of feel that we might need to help them although they probably are able to deal with this themselves let's see 7k that's already 13 15 15k who is on our side so also these fellas over here they're going to be helping us and they have a good amount of arms. I don't believe that we are needed in this war. And I kind of feel... Um, and have not yet set our war goal. Um, we can't conquer claims. And uh, this won't do for us. We are not the um, this party of here. He can set the claims. We can't do jack about it. But we definitely are going to war with him. Are we actually helping? Uh, maybe. Maybe if we are able to build up our economy quite nicely. We definitely will. We have the alloys. We will soon have our naval capacity going up. And that is definitely uh, something. We want to make sure that we get the naval, the fleet academy in there. Uh, we need to change you into fleet shipyard. Is there anything I want to change? Like right now. Before doing anything else. Wait, what are you? You're the nep. You're one of my trade posts. Eventually you will get that. Once you're upgraded, you will get it. Um, they are our ally, right? Well, they are for now. I know, that sounds so sad. Let's uh, at least build these naval logistic officers just to get the plus two. And uh, we're going to be getting started on uh, on the new fleet next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I, uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I know I am. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.